La da 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 La da 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 I'm talking about you and me And the games people play Oh, the games people play now Every night and every day now Never meaning what they say now Never saying what they mean And while they while away the hours In their ivory towers Till they're covered up with flowers In the back of a black limousine Hey, how you doing? Justin, back with you today to check out Games People Play. Originally a hit for Joe South back in 1969, but covered then again by Inner Circle in the mid-90s. Really cool reggae feel in this song. So a great one for beginners. It's only got A, D and E chords. We're going to look at simplified strumming as well as a bit more of that kind of reggae feel. This song is included in the Justin Guitar Lessons and Songs app, which has got a really cool karaoke version of this. So if you're new to guitar, you don't want to try the singing and you want to have a full band backing track for it, do go and check the app out. It's really good fun to play along. Even if you're a complete beginner, just doing simple strumming along with the app really gives you that kind of like you're playing in a band feeling. It really help you stay on top of your timing as well, which is one of the biggest problems beginners have. But let's get to a close-up and check out how to play the tune. So the chord progression for this song is one bar of A. So one, two, three. And then we go to an E chord. One, two, three, four. Then jump to D for two beats, E for two beats back to A for four, two, three, four, and again that's A, two, three, four, two and E, two, three, four, then D, two, E, four, and A, two, three, four. If you're really new to guitar, then do remember to check out the lessons on the website or the app which are about anchor fingers, i.e. keeping your first finger down all the time and just sliding it to help you navigate your changes between the A chord, the E chord and the D. Super helpful tip. And do remember that starting with this real simple strumming where you only strum where the chord changes is a great way to play along with the track. You get the full feeling like you're really making music, but you're not having to worry too much about the strumming yet. So that would definitely be the thing that I'd recommend that you start off with. If initially you're struggling to even keep up with doing that one strum on each chord, that's okay too. That would be real normal if you're real new to guitar. If you're in your first couple of lessons, then it's, that's going to be tough still. So don't be upset if you're going kind of like A, people play now, da 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 da. Um, where's that finger go there? Da, 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 and then the D chord. Like that, that kind of thing is really normal when you start out. So don't worry about it. What you want to do is try and get it smooth enough to be able to do those simple strums. So even if you go one, two, three, four, and one, try and move it early enough to get to the one. Four, one, two, three. So even if you have to start changing earlier to, to get the strum still on beat one is what you're after. One, two, three, four. Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. That kind of thing. So you're where you leave the chord a little bit earlier to try and get the chord shape in time for the strum either on beat one, which is the start of the bar, or beat three in the third bar of this chord sequence because there's only two chords in there are two strums on each chord, so half a bar each. So that would be step one. Step two, once you've got, kind of got it in time, even if it's slow, have a go at strumming on the beat each time. So you're going to strum four strums in the bar. So in that case, you start on the A and you'd have three, four, you'd have one, two, three, four. And then you try and do your change nice and quick. D, three, four, and then to the D. To the E and back to the A. One, two, three, four. See if you can get that right, just the feeling of that. Now, there are things on your beginner journey, like on a D chord, you shouldn't really hit the thicker string. That tends to sound a little bit wobbly. On the A chord, you shouldn't really hit the thicker string either. But 
at the stage, if you're new to the whole thing, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Much more important is to enjoy what you're doing and enjoy playing the song. So actually just going through and just doing your best to play along with the backing track, I think is the most enjoyable thing that you can do as a beginner. It really help you with your timing. Like I said, one of the, the biggest dangers is spending too long in that point where you pause between the chords. You want to try and lose that as soon as you can. It's okay in the beginning. It's going to happen. Like every guitar player learning will have a pause between the chords when, you know, trying to get their fingers in the right place. So that's really normal. But that's the first step along your journey is to try and remove that and get to the chord changes as soon as you can so that you can stay in time. Once you can stay in time with the chord changes, then you start to think a little bit more about the rhythm. And like I said, you want to try having a go at doing that four down strums to the bar and staying in time like i said playing along with a backing track i feel is the best way to do that because it really it doesn't stop for you a backing track won't pause and let you catch up with the chord it forces you to get your chord changes better it's really really effective now if you're through that and you can play the chords in time and you can do that simple strumming if you want to play this song with a bit more of a reggae feel cool way of doing that is to do the main strum on the off beats now if this is like freaking you out don't go there yet come back and revisit this song later i'm kind of giving you somewhere where this song might want to go if you're a bit got a bit more uh, confidence with your rhythm or whatever so the idea would be that you do a very small strum on the one two the three and the four and a bigger strum on the and which would become between those beats so you'd have one targeting the bass note but to be honest it doesn't really matter if you hit the strings or you miss if you miss completely it kind of sounds cool too I think it works better with that little chuck, chuck. but don't try and th pick one note particularly it's just like a, it's a down strum on the thicker strings Is it trying to avoid the thicker string on the D chord we're sticking that progression all the way through one bar of A, one bar of B, half a bar of D, half a bar of B, full bar of A. Then it's back to a full bar of A again. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Okay, let me put some lyrics with that now. I'll try and insert the chords into it as well. We'll see how we get on. It actually starts with the singing. So, la na 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 A chord, la na 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 E chord. I'm talking about D and me, E and the games people A. Oh, the games people A now. Every night and every E now. Never meaning what they D now E and then saying what they A While they while away the A chord In their ivory E chord Till they're covered up with D chord In the E of a black liver A Na 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 A chord Then it's going to an E chord Never go into a D chord to E, then it's back to an A. So this song is a really good one. You can start super simple with just easy one strum on each chord. Like I said, playing along with a backing track is a super cool idea. I definitely encourage you to go and check that out if you haven't already. But you can totally play it on your own as well. It works just like that. Uh, singing and playing, if you're really new to guitar, is going to be tricky as well. It has to try and get a bit automated. So don't be surprised if you find playing and singing at the same time pretty difficult. Particularly if you're going to have a go at doing that reggae groove where you're accenting the ands. That would, for most beginners, be very difficult to do that and sing at the same time so be realistic about your expectations and you should probably stay a little happier with your journey of course if you're struggling with any of the chords you don't know how to play the a or the d or you're struggling to make the chord changes the full course is available over on justinguitar.com it's all free go and check it out uh, you've got a practice assistant it'll keep you on track with the things that you need to practice you've got a songbook you can save all of the stuff the dashboard is incredible and it's all still free so go and check it out i'll see you for plenty more lessons very soon you'll take care of yourselves bye bye